Hey, Les with Redneck and a Hat. We just got done doing our Primos uh, trail cam review. And anyway, you guys ain't gonna believe what we caught the first night on video. Uh, it's a little scary, creepy. I, that's probably more creepy than anything. But uh, stick around and you'll see what we caught. Hey everybody, welcome back to Redneck in a Hat. Uh, today, I've got something here. We're going to do an unboxing. Well, it's out of the box. We're going to do an unpackaging, I guess would be better terms. But this is what it is. It's a, a Primo's hunting uh, game cam. This one here is the Truth Ultra Blackout. With early detection, um, it's the four megapixel. But anyway, it says simple to use. Now I've never used a Primos camera before. Um, I've always used a, a, a different brand that I really like, but this one here, I wanted to try it. But. Uh, and of course on the back, not a lot on the packaging, pretty straightforward. Um, I haven't opened it yet, but I can see a little instruction book inside. Um, I did look at the instruction book up online on this camera, and it is online if you wanted to look at the instruction book before you, you get this camera. But uh, right off the top, uh, I'll tell you, it's, it's an infrared trail camera with early detection. Infrared means no flash, no glow, no lights going off. Um, it's infrared, undetectable. And then the early detection means this has a, a 45 degree PIR sensor that picks up in a broader range. Instead of being uh, like maybe a 35 or 40 degree this is 45 degree or something, um, but we're gonna we're gonna try all this out today. Um, but it, it's supposed to pick up movement sooner than most a lot of your other cameras do, and that way it, it takes the picture, you know, while the animal is moving in front of the camera versus. Um, it being halfway past the camera before it takes a picture. This, like I said, it is four megapixel. Um, well, it takes four megapixel images, and video with audio is uh, 640 by 480. So we're gonna uh, see how good the uh, video is and uh, what the audio is like. I've never used a trail camera that had audio before. This will be my first. Um, so I'm kind of excited to see what the audio is and what kind of range it has. Um, it's uh, got it's a 60 no glow LEDs in it with a 35 foot night range. So night range it, it should pick up pretty good with uh, the light um, a lot of your cameras are around 30 foot uh, there's some that's 35 but we're gonna try this out a lot of my other cameras were flash and they were I think around 30 foot with, a, with an actual flash that, that flashed like a camera but this one here since it's infrared and it's got the PIR motion sensor is active out to about 40 range, 40 foot range somewhere in there. So if a deer is about 40 foot out in front of the camera, it should pick it up, set off the sensor to where it takes a picture. Now a lot of that has to do with the temperature, uh, heat, cold. 
So, uh, and the other thing is, between the camera and 40 feet, there's a lot of variables. Uh, a bird could fly by real quick, set it off. A piece of grass, a tree limb, a leaf moving. Um, that's the other thing is, uh, how many false signals is this going to have within 40 feet in front of it? You know, um, because that's that's quite a distance, 40 40 feet. You know, I've I've had uh, blades of grass, leaves on tree limbs move. You know, the wind blows them, that sets them off. And uh, so we're gonna we're gonna try to figure that out with this camera. Um, let's see. Oh, this this camera I've never had one that had this before, but it has time lapse, which means it automatically takes a time lapse picture. Um, well, there, there's different settings on the time lapse. You can have it set for seconds, be 10, 20, or 30 seconds intervals, or you can set it for minutes, be one minute, five minute, and 30 minute intervals. Um, I'm not for sure that we'll try that out today. Um, we're just basically wanting to do the setup on it um, and try it out, see how good pictures it takes, audio, uh, video. Um, and then we're going to leave it set up and, and, and see if we can get some deer or something on it in the next few days. You know, I might leave it out, you know, three or four days, may leave it out a week before I check it. Um, it does have a one second sensor, trigger sensor, so that, that should be, it should be pretty good. Um, and accept, it accepts SD cards up to 32 gigabyte. And the batteries, it takes eight AA batteries. You think, well, that's a lot of batteries. But, uh, the battery life is eight months on this thing. Now, I think a lot of that depends on what you have this set on. Whether you have it set on images, video, or time lapse. Time lapse, you're not going to get eight months. You're probably going to be looking at getting a couple of days out of this um, on time lapse because it's working all the time. Um, and I believe on the time lapse it takes about one gigabyte of uh, images per day. Uh, if it kind of gives you a ballpark of how many pictures it's taken in a day's time. But uh, it's HD time lapse. Um, and I don't, really not much else on here. Um, like I said, we're going to cut this out of the box, get my knife out. Got the camera aimed down here, so I don't have to raise it up so high. Now this camera isn't very big. I mean, that's the palm of my hand, and that's how big it is. It is a, a kind of a green camouflage. Um, it says Matrix on it, so I don't know if Matrix is the uh, camouflage pattern, but the back is black. It does have a tripod. Uh, screw on the bottom of it to where you put it on a tripod but this is what the front looks like um let's see take this sticker off up here is where your led lights are of course your camera lens is here down below is that that's your sensor your motion sensor up here the little bitty hole now this light should light up when it detects mo uh, movement and it also serves as your daytime nighttime uh, sensor to know whether it's daytime or nighttime uh, let's see what else i got in the box here got, got a nice uh, green strap of course uh Instruction book. Now it looks like this instruction book is it's for a, a couple of different cameras of theirs, which is the Truth Cam Ultra series. 
which is what this camera is. This is the blackout one. But, uh, and I believe, uh, there's a lot of similarities in these, but, uh, got a green strap with uh, a buckle on it. Go ahead and put this strap on the camera. On the back, there's a, uh, on this side, and over here, that's where your straps go. Just kind of got to work it through the grooves here. See there? And then run it across the back of the camera to the other one. Just make sure your strap is laying flat. And it should look like this when you're done. And of course there's a buckle on this side so we'll go ahead and put it on and then unbuckle it. Once you get the strap on your camera, you can just leave the strap on your camera when you store it and put it on your buckle. I believe this is a 72 inch, 72 inch strap is what it said on the packaging. Um, and we're going to open it up here. It's got a latch right here with, you can put a little padlock on it. There is a cable um, strap lock place here, uh, cable eyelets, to where you can put a cable through the front and I guess lock it to the tree. Um, open it up. What we got in here? Okay, got a little card in here for in installing the batteries, which is nice of them. And yep, it takes eight eight batteries here and here's the all your controls which looks pretty easy they're just slides um, power button up here at the top red button LCD screen um, to change settings I think for your clock and date and all that is here and the SD card slot is on the side and I've got an SD card. This is uh, what it looks like. We're gonna put it in. Okay, SD card is in. Now, eight batteries. I'll put these batteries in real quick. And then the batteries are in. All right. Push the power button. Okay, it says 99% on battery, but uh, these batteries are new. I haven't used them, but I've had them for a while, so that's probably why it's down 1%. All right. Date. The month is push the up button or the down button to go to the month and hit OK and then that goes to the day. Uh, today's date. Okay. Push OK and it goes to the year. Push OK. Push OK. Okay. Once you you get your date set and it's not blinking, then push up. Push up, and then that takes you to the clock. Push OK. We'll set the time.
push OK. Set AM or PM. OK. And push up again. That takes you to your picture count. And I believe to uh, reset it, you would do that here. If you wanted to reset your numbers back to zero. All right. I'm going to turn this off now. Okay. We're going to take this out and uh, try it out. And see how it works. All right, everybody. We are out in the woods in an undisclosed location in western Missouri, um, right outside of Kansas City. We got the Primos. Truth Cam Blackout Ultra, and we're gonna put it on this tree right here. Uh, just behind you guys is a whole bunch of trails that come up out of out of a creek and they they split off. And this is gonna be pretty much looking where all that splits off. So anything that comes up out of that creek, um, there's gonna be walking in front of this camera to split off, or anything going to the creek is gonna be on the camera. So anyway, um, I'll show you the trail here once we get the camera set up. And uh, I'm going to place this about three feet above the ground. Um, looks like there's some poison I need. Got that off of it. We got this camera set up about three feet off the ground. Uh, most of your game cameras, that's uh, where they work the best. I would, I, I would, I wouldn't go any lower than than 24 inches, um, unless you're wanting to, you know, get the little animals like the coons, possums, for your larger animals three feet um like i said i wouldn't i wouldn't go over four foot i wouldn't go under two foot it kind of depends on your terrain if uh the ground goes up I got cobwebs in my hair here if the ground goes up from your camera you're probably going to want to raise it up to be able to get whatever's on that hill if the ground goes down you're going to want it down a little lower but for pretty much flat ground, you want it about three foot above the ground. So we got the camera set up here. We're gonna set it, um, do the settings on it, and get it turned on. We're gonna do some walkthroughs, and uh, we'll see how that goes. All right, we're gonna set this on uh, photo first. We're gonna try photos, turn it on. And we got it set for 10 second well uh intervals well five second delay that's what we're going to do right here we're not going to be on uh time lapse so anyway we've got it on and it does a countdown up here and when it reaches that countdown then it's it's ready to go All right, now that we did the picture test, we're going to uh, do some uh, video on it. I've got it set for high resolution because I want to see what kind of quality you know it gets on the high resolution with the four megapixel camera. Okay, everybody, we're going to try this out. We're going to put the uh, memory card in the computer, and we're going to see what kind of audio, if we got audio. Uh, there's no settings to where you can turn the audio off or on, so uh, I'm guessing it works. Um, we'll know till we try it. Okay, 
All right, it's been a couple weeks uh, since the camera has been out. We are going to go check the camera, bring it in, check the pictures, um, see how it did. Uh, go from there, really. Uh, well, we made it to the creek. At least the water is not too deep. There's a little row of rocks there. Step on to get across. But, uh, and the camera is right up there on the other side of these bushes here. So anyway, let's walk across these rocks. About well, got soaked walking through the grass. Well, I'm gonna be soaked by the time I get out of here. Deer tracks. So the deer have been through here since it's rained. It looked like maybe last night. What the hell is that? Somebody dug a hole, put bait in it. The cameras around. What the hell? Somebody do that for? I don't see no cameras. Unless they're trying to catch crawdad, maybe to go up there. Oh, look at that big snapping turtle. Oh, see him there in the water. He moving. Hmm, look around this hole some more. Kind of got me curious why they had dug it. Looks like maybe the coons have been in it. Still there. Still there. Shows 98 pictures on it. But, uh, Anyway, we got the camera. I'm gonna walk back out of here. We got the uh, Primos Truth Cam Ultra Blackout. Uh, it's the Truth Cam series. But anyway, we got the memory card out, got it fired up in the computer, uploaded the videos, and uh, had some nighttime videos that turned out really well. I was impressed. This first IR camera infrared that I've had, so I didn't really know what I was going to do. I'm used to the ones that flash and uh but anyway um had uh had some possums had some coons had quite a few coons in fact one of the coons kind of climbed the tree and got over the camera and deer and the sound it don't seem like the sound picks up very far away but if an animal is up close you can definitely hear the animal breathing or grunting um, I did have a deer with its nose right up there smelling the camera and you can you can hear the deer you know sniffing and which is kind of cool but uh, it did pick up deer way after all you could see was maybe a nose or the the, the face you know of the deer and that camera picked it up I, I was really suppressed you know impressed with the uh, 
quality of the sensor on this camera. Um, it did seem like it picked up off to the side of the viewing area. So if a deer just walked up just gradually to the viewing area and stopped, it would pick it up, but he wouldn't be on video because he was just outside the camera lens. But if he kept walking, he would have been in the video. But uh, no, overall, I, I do like this camera. Would I buy another one? Yeah, if I was needing another another camera, sure. The great camera. Um, of course, we only had it out uh, two weeks, so uh, couldn't really check the battery life. The other thing that was captured on video is going to be a little surprising. It was the same day I put the camera out. I put the camera out in the early afternoon, and the camera captured something about 8.20 something, I believe it was. Um, it was just before 8.30 p.m. It was dark. Um, and it looked like it might have been sprinkling or just kind of a light drizzle because you can see you know things you know probably raindrops falling but uh it really baffled my mind what this was uh there was two objects one was down kind of on all fours it looked like the other one was upright up on hind legs and uh it's it's kind of it's kind of chilling to see that there's something like this. Now this, it was in woods, not too far from my house. Probably, probably within a, a half a mile of my house. And uh, I don't know. I, I, I may have put the camera back down there just to see if I can get more video of this. Because I'm not quite sure what it was. But, uh. I mean, the color of it was pretty white looking. Now, the other one was dark, but this one was pretty white looking. And it really stood out, and you couldn't really see the one. The one that was looked like it was walking on all fours, you didn't really see till they got right up close to the camera. And it kind of moved around the first one. And then the video stopped. You know, they're 10-second videos. And then... The camera activated again, and it caught the the rear end or the hind end, the hind quarters of the dark the dark object, and you could see you know a, a, a tail on it. But uh, you just can't have to watch this. But uh, it, <laughs> it blows my mind when I, when I first seen it. I'm thinking, oh my god, look at this thing. Uh, you know. I, None of my buddies are going to believe this when I show them, hey, this is what I call my trail camera, you know, this needs to go viral. But anyway, check it out. I'm going to show you uh, just a clip of, of the, uh, the two objects that I caught that night, the first night. And then at the end of the video, I made a, a loop of, you know, a bunch of the videos, the deer, the coons, the possums. So you can check out the actual quality. It's high definition. Um, <sighs> but anyway, uh, check it out. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm Les, redneck in a hat. Come back, guys. Come on, where'd, where'd you go? Look at this. I'll zoom this up. Play again. Play again. Look at her. She's walking a German Shepherd by my camera. You guys catch this? Some blonde chick. Looks like it's raining. She almost looks like she's lost, like she don't know where to go. There's, that's her leaving with the dog. That was the dog's tail that went out of the picture here. Um, she was walking in front of the dog.